This is Sanjay Raut's massive provocation on Aurangzeb. Raut took door for anti-social elements. Encounter anti-social elements like UP cops is what Sanjay Raut has said. Big statement on Aurangzeb fight. And Sanjay Raut has in fact made some provocative statements. Thok do attack is what he has made. Encounter the anti-socials like UP cops do is what Sanjay Raut has said. खतरे में नहीं है उनको लगता है उनका हिंदुत्व बहुत कमजोर है तो फिर ऐसे एंटी सोशल एलिमेंट्स को कितनी कितनी रियायत दी जाए आपके हिसाब से सर खोक देना चाहिए जहां यूपी में हो रहा है ओके वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज संजय राउत रिमेंबर इज नॉट जस्ट स्पीकिंग एज द यूबीटी लीडर शिवसेना इन फैक्ट द उद्धव ठाकरे फैक्शन ऑफ द शिवसेना बट ऑल्सो पंकज दे आर इन अलायंस विद द एनसीपी द एनसीपी इज टेकन अ वेरी डिफरेंट पोजिशन ऑन दिस एंटायर मैटर इज इंटेक Uh, so Sanjay Raut had previously said that why does Bharatiya Janata Party this to come under danger if somebody flashes a portrait of foreign zip so this was the reason why i today asked him how much leniency uh, should be given to such anti social elements if sanjay raut was commenting that why does bjp is in this for uh, come in danger with somebody flashing the orange zip portrait so today uh, yeah, he had a different line he said that such elements should be shot he said thok to and he has also made a sharp uh, comment uh, on on devendra fandavis and the state government saying that all this tension that has been created in the state and this entire uh, right like situation this is a political conspiracy to show that there is lack of law and order in the state of maharashtra so that the captains of the industry realize that bringing investment into the state is not a good idea and all those investments can be shifted to gujarat he says that this government is not going to last long but yet again reiterated uh, that uh, this entire politics over orangezeb is not good it is going to consume only the bharatiya janata party and the shinde government but today he had a different line and a very provocative statement as you rightly pointed out saying that such anti social elements should be shot at the word the vocabulary that he uses thok to okay that's the word that he used ram kadam is also now joining us mr ram kadam your take on what has been said by mr sanjay raut sir Mr. Sanjay Raut is completely devastated. He is absolutely frustrated. And as a government, we don't require any kind of opinion from him or his party. Okay. As far as the law and order is concerned in Maharashtra, is absolutely in place. The people who have been indulging into breaking this law and order situation or disturbing this law and order situation. everyone knows who are they so opposition party is indulging into this so honorable chief minister eknash shinde ji and honorable deputy chief minister devendra fadnavis ji both are taking all proactive measures to stop such kind of uh, uh, Thanks. Okay, but you know, Mr. Ram Kadam, very respectfully, your own colleague Nitesh Rane just the day before yesterday said that swords are going to be brought out to, in fact, uh, deal with the people who are, in fact, praising Aurangzeb. Mr. Rath has technically said the same thing. This is his personal opinion. Okay. But uh, this is his personal opinion, and he is an MLA, and of course, he can put his. on opinion any time but the fact is mm. who are those social anti elements who have been disturbing peace in, in maharashtra okay so everyone knows that who are behind them naturally the opposition party hmm, has been you know giving them oxygen all right so this is the fact mr ram kadam of the bjp says that in fact if anybody else from his party has made a statement that's their own personal view and this is not the way to deal with the situation i'm going to thank you for joining us with your views on that listen to what sanjay raut said once again
आपका कहना है कि हिंदुत्व खतरे में क्यों पड़ जाता है अगर कोई औरंगजेब का पोर्ट्रेट अगर सर पे उठा खतरे में नहीं है उनको लगता है उनका हिंदुत्व बहुत कमजोर है तो फिर ऐसे एंटी सोशल एलिमेंट्स को कितनी कितनी रियायत दी जाए आपके हिसाब से सर ठोक देना चाहिए जहां यूपी में हो रहा है आपका कहना है कि हिंदुत्व खतरे में क्यों पड़ जाता है अगर कोई औरंगजेब का पोर्ट्रेट अगर सर पे उठा खतरे में नहीं है उनको लगता है उनका हिंदुत्व बहुत कमजोर है तो फिर ऐसे एंटी सोशल एलिमेंट्स को कितनी कितनी रियायत दी जाए आपके हिसाब से सर ठोक देना चाहिए जहां यूपी में हो रहा है Palmi Sah has also more details on that story. Independently, as a member of the Shiv Sena of the Uddhav Thakre faction, this statement from Sanjay Raut really, Palmi, not surprising. But we have to keep in mind that their alliance partner NCP has taken a very different position. Well, uh, it will be of course difficult to find uh, those from the alliance uh, partners of uh, the Uddhav Thakre faction of uh, the Shiv Sena, including the NCP and the Congress, joining voice with Sanjay Raut in terms of uh, finding a resolution to the problem. Remember that this is a matter which is under investigation. 36 persons have been arrested. Uh, the police, of course, says that at least 300 to 400 persons were involved in the clashes that were witnessed in Kolhapur. It's a very sensitive situation, and for Sanjay Sanjay Raut to have made a statement uh, like that where he of course uh, said that anti-social elements should be shot at and that's the only way to uh, in fact curb violence or in fact uh, uh, stop anyone from inciting the situation. That's not going to go down very well with the alliance partners. So uh, it's unlikely that the NCP and the Congress will join voice uh, with the Shiv Sena member of parliament, Mr. Sanjay Raut, but a very provocative statement at that which is being made by Mr. Sanjay Raut. He of course was countering, uh, you know, the BJP government the BJP Shinde faction government and saying that they of course haven't been able to handle the situation that they're bringing in uh, Aurangzeb as only a way to incite uh, politics in Maharashtra on the Hindu Muslim alliance because that's the only sort of weapon that they have in their hands and they don't know how to curb and curtail the situation that has escalated since their own provocation but clearly his response to how you deal with the situation mm. that's not going to find too many voices uh, in fact supporting it you know, also, Paul, I mean, this obviously gives uh, political parties every reason to do politics on, given that Lok Sabha election is not too far away. Both sides are trying to make the most of the situation that at least Kolhapur has found itself in, isn't it? Absolutely. And this is what the Shiv Sena faction, the Udhav Thakre faction, is blaming the BJP Shinde government about saying this is a situation which has been created by them in order to divide society on Hindu-Muslim lines because that's the only way they think by polarizing society, by polarizing uh, the situation on the ground in Maharashtra, will they go ahead and create a, a sort of a vote bank for themselves, a solid vote bank ahead of the Lok Sabha 2024 elections if they were so confident of uh, their stability and their position and of course their popularity among the people uh, the faction says uh, the uh, you know uh, the alliance in Maharashtra the opposition alliance says then the government would have gone ahead and in fact uh, announced the BMC elections as well the BMC elections would have been announced uh, already these are elections uh, which are very crucial they are crucial as far as the uh, Mumbai Municipal Corporation is concerned something that everyone wants a share of in terms of the pie that it is and they are uh, they were supposed to be held in the month of February. They are still not being uh, announced and hence uh, they are saying that you know the, uh, the alliance uh, which is the opposition is saying that the government is not very sure that it is going to get the numbers on the ground, it is going to get the votes on the ground and hence it is trying to polarize society ahead of those possible elections whenever they are held and of course the looks about 2024 elections.